Hi everyone, this is Rocco the Retro Repairman. I am Justin Rocco, your repairman for today. Uh, today we're going to go over troubleshooting and repairing a Game Gear Model 1 power supply. This one is uh, actually uh, for the Mega Drive here. And uh, you're going to need for this project uh, most likely a 3300 16 volt microfarad capacitor like so you're going to need a 4 millimeter bit driver with a deep channel so you can get in the deep channels here now save time I've already pre-loosened these off and this is going to come off you're going to take apart your shell All right, <clears throat> and carefully set this to the side now if we examine this Visually, you can see that the capacitor broke here. It uh, exploded. So, what we're going to do is uh, have to desolder that and replace it. So, the orient where the capacitor is going to go in and uh, go from there. So, we've got our iron hot, some solder, pre tin your tip like so. <clears throat> so now that we pre-tinned our tip, we're going to carefully heat this up. Little by little. You slowly work that out. You should have a capacitor removed here. And I'll show you what an exploded capacitor looks like. It looks literally like a burn mark, like a firecracker, and uh, it obviously leaked. So you're going to want to neutralize any electrolytic fluid leakage that may have gotten in your area of your board. And even though this is a breadboard. You can see how funky this is. It actually, it like literally caused a small. Um, it appears to be a small fire uh, when it exploded. Like that's left like an actual chemical burn mark on the on the device here. I'm cleaning it with just isopropyl 92% uh, alcohol here, and just trying to get that area where it was uh, affected. Before we do anything. All right, so now we got our uh, new micro, my, new capacitor here in my hand, and we don't want to trim our legs too much, but we want to trim them so you have some sort of control when you're inserting this in. So again, you want to orient this capacitor on how the polarity is supposed to be. So obviously your um, the uh, <coughs> You want to uh, have this oriented properly before you install it. So the stripe of the capacitor was facing this way. So that's how we're going to do it. And uh, again, I'm going to slowly heat up our solder area here. My hand slipped there. It's not good. It wasn't a good a trace or nothing there. Alright, so this guy, he's going in with this one being stubborn. There we go. Alright, he's aligned now. force it. I'm going to tell you why. So if you force it, you can break traces. So you want to heat it and gradually move this bad boy over. And so now we got him where we want. We're going to spade these out 
and properly tin it. And remember to have a good solder. I want to three points of contact. Okay. Very good. And get this little one. Very nice. Alright. So now, what we got going on here is you're going to take and trim your excess off. Like so, trim and trim. Alright, and now flip them over. Alright, so <clears throat> what you want to do is we want to test the output. And the output of this is right here. And the positive is the outer, and the negative is the inner. Now, let's we'll see if it works. I have this switch off on the power strip to be safe. And what I'm going to do is now I'll clear all the tools from it. I'm going to turn this on. No smoke. There's no fire. It's a very good sign. Alright. <coughs> Next order of business is remember we have located the output of the DC voltage. It's right here and here so this is your positive and your negative terminal which you want to test so I've got my multimeter and uh, I'm going to put this here for you all to see with me and uh, I'm going to light it up okay all right guys well, I guess the stand doesn't work well it's a free fall Alright, here we go. Here's a puzzle. And here's a negative. And guess what? It appears we have voltage. And again, this isn't, a, so they don't always pump out what they say, it's usually more. So, it's a solid, uh, when I hold my probes on it, And don't move them. It's like a 13, uh, 13, 13, 14. So we got uh, a good supply now. This is going to go with that mega drive that I restored the luster to. So <clears throat> usually, what you find wrong in these power supplies, especially the yellow tip model 2 Genesis, as well as the uh, Game Gear power supply, which has the same yellow tip wire is the those damn tips I don't know what they are if they're, they're construction but the they short out quite easily so I just killed the power to this to be safe now we remove it uh, <clears throat> oh yeah I wanted to test the polarity on this because I, I want to make sure when I soldered the wires that I actually like didn't reverse the polarity back to US because a Japanese mega drive uh, power supply is supposed to have um, center pin a negative polarity so let me check that real quick but yeah well back to what I was saying usually when these things uh, bug out on you it's because of the um, short in the wire so what you'll find yourself doing is uh, taking this lead back here this little weird uh, conjunction that goes through the little rubber spacer and you'll literally uh, nip it right here having a fresh one and then nip your tip uh, and then if that you know, you check that, and then um, you do your tip here, and you nip your tip, and you have a whole new run. So, but we're gonna check this because it needs to be uh, negative in the center and positive on the out. So, right, this it says according to it. <clears throat> if we put the center pin being positive with my meter and this on the other sheet it's giving us a, a 13 volts so it looks like <clears throat> this needs to be uh, switched out yeah so 
this is set the center's positive. I need to switch the wires because the outer sheathing needs to be uh, <coughs> positive, not negative. It's flip flop. But anyways, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you do need the uh, tips for these, they have a nice economical solution on console5.com. And that's where I get my yellow tips. So, pretty nice. They just you unthread them and <clears throat> you have to solder your leads. And that's it. So, thank you for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you all learned something. Alright, bye bye now.